Hi, I'm Mark from Advanced Assembly, and today I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about knitting. From nips and tucks to... What? Kitting. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. If you're anything like me, you've got far better things to do than hand assemble your next printed circuit board. So what's an engineer to do? I'll tell you, you get advanced assembly to do it all for you. And the process couldn't be simpler. First, you need a shipping box. Then, send them your boards or order them from Royal Circuit Solutions. Next, you need to send them the parts on your design. I've got everything oh so carefully sorted. Well, Advanced Assembly is going to want to kit that themselves, so no need to send it to them all like this. Looks like we got a couple stragglers there. I'll just get those in. That's it. Take your box, seal it up, drop it in the mail, and it'll be back before you know it. There we go, advanced assembly. I can't wait to see what I get back. In just two short days, I've already got, well, that doesn't sound right, but I've already got my box back. Those just must be leftovers. I think it's time to dig in and see what's inside. Are you excited as I am? What do we have? What do we have? Huh. That's funny. I mean, we didn't get a chance to assemble it. But they did leave a note. I wonder what it says. Ha! Huh. No. Huh. We better try something different. I wonder what else we could do. You know, they do have an online article that I was supposed to read. Some, something about how to kit parts properly. Maybe we better go take a look at that. The first thing I'll need are inventory control labels. These have the build number, the manufacturer part number, the quantity, and the reference designators for every part that I'm going to send advanced assembly. And to make my life a little easier, I went ahead and printed those out on adhesive back labels. That way, I can just peel them and stick them to the bags as soon as I get them loaded. Parts that are not electrostatically sensitive, such as switches, can go in Ziploc bags. Everything else should go in the anti-static bag. Affix the label, and then indicate how many parts are in the bag. If you don't put enough parts in, your project may go on hold. Your parts distributor might provide parts that are already bagged, and it is okay to send them to us as long as you use our inventory control tags. We don't want there to be any confusion down the road. To learn more about how to prepare your parts for assembly, read our pamphlet, Five Steps to Preparing Your Parts Kit, or call us and we'll walk you through everything. If you liked this video, let us know by clicking the like button at the bottom of the screen. But don't stop watching now. We have other educational and informative videos on this channel. To learn more about what Advanced Assembly offers and how we can help you, please visit aapcb.com.